Hey, what's up, guys? It's Inca Jeep from IncaJeep.com. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Inca 4x4. This is a quick video on where I'm at right now with my Overland build. It's uh, August 13, 2019 when I filmed this. And pretty much I'm going to cover that and just uh, one or two issues I have with the Gladiator so far. I put about 8,000 miles on it and I still love the thing if you're thinking about getting one go ahead and get it it's perfect uh, platform for uh, overlanding hey again I apologize for the audio I'm still new at this trying to make uh, better videos and I'm looking into different equipment but the first part I'm gonna go over my build and what it is I, I pretty much have on it and the second part is just going to be going over just some sh video shoots I've um, done while wheeling in North Georgia mountains. And then at the end, I'm going to go over just uh, one or two things I want to point out about the Gladiator. So again, I appreciate you guys watching and any feedback, comments, I appreciate and hope you enjoy. All right, so this is my uh, 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon Launch Edition. Uh, I pretty much got the Dometic Bridge, uh, some water, and um, like a propane uh, camper stove. And I got some salmon cooking with some salmon uh, burgers. And I keep like a Yeti uh, 400 um, battery system that like powers this, charges while I drive. Uh, tools and just some um, recovery stuff and I got my uh, bifold hard shell tent that sits up pretty easy. I have um, a uh, Rhino wrap 270 degree awning. It um, sets up and covers just this area here if it was raining or if there was like super amount of shade. Uh, I have a yarmulke um, bag, uh, bike rack and I have my um, mountain bike on it uh, and then as far as like the Jeep I have a two inch Mopar lift it's uh, just basically clock shocks and a, and a two inch lift you don't have to upgrade the drive shaft or anything like that I have a uh, Mickey Thompson uh, I think it's like the Dugan or Dugan um, mud terrain tires and Hutchinson beadlock uh, rims, the yarmulke uh, bed rack, which I'm going to get the sidebars and like um, rotopacks for, um, got this rhino rack uh, rooftop like basket, and uh, some lights, some amber lights, uh, inside I don't think I did anything with, and then if you come up front, I have the Warren synthetic winch rope um, with a Smitty belt, just a um, bear lead. And yeah, this is pretty much my setup. Uh, we're here camping at Sandy Bottoms uh, over in North Georgia Mountains. There's a nice little campground, lake, or creek, and we've got a fire going. And this is my dog Enzo and this is my wife and um, hope you enjoy this video all right so let's get into this this here it's Charlie's Creek Trail it's uh, outside of Blairsville Georgia it's a pretty um, easy trail any four-wheel drive should have no problems and as far as my build's concerned, the only thing that's not installed that I need to finish installing is the Yakima Outpost sidebars, which hold things like recovery boards, they hold roto packs, um, you can pretty much fit uh, any accessory. And the reason I went with this rack was because they don't have one yet, but they're coming out with a Red Tracks Tanu cover, which I think will help keep, like, say, my fridge um, 
dust free some of my things like um, dry uh, I don't expect too much water to get in and I'm also thinking maybe over it I can put like say a kayak or something and it's perfect it holds my um, bifold hard shell rooftop tent and it's a uh, it's it's perfect for for what I what I need I I see a lot of different racks out there but um, ultimately I really wanted to get one that I would have a function of a tanu cover at some point now I do have about 8,000 miles on the truck uh, I've taken it to Kentucky um, Tennessee I'm in uh, North Georgia a lot and Florida and overall I love it uh, highly recommend I came from a four-door JKU it rides really smooth uh, I went with the two-inch Mopar lift because a put opposite from my JKU I kind of want to keep things stock this is like a more pricier vehicle than my uh, sport like JKU and I really want to keep things stock and, and not really um, change too much of, of the performance the um, thing that I want to point out and maybe you've seen on the forums is there is like a heat that comes out through your lap sometimes um, I don't know if it's an issue uh, if it's like a problem but it, I have seen it mentioned in the forums and it, it does happen and it, it'll seem like just hot air coming coming out in the off-road pages I'll check to see if anything like temperature wise is getting hot or something but everything seems fine um, it's not really a big issue uh, you know I just turn up the air conditioning a little bit more and most of the time when I'm wheeling I just lower the windows and I don't even have the air conditioning going because I just uh, I just that's just how I'm uh, I kind of like to be in the the woods the outdoors kind of feel it a little bit better but that and really that and just that they're the products are still coming out so some things that you kind of want are still not available so either you have to be creative or you know you, you, it's kind of there's new products coming out all the time but that's not really a problem obviously with the new uh, line of truck that uh, Jeep came out but uh, I hope this video was somewhat informative I'm trying to get better at uh, my videos and again I apologize for the audio but I, uh, I love going out, camping, exploring, um, spending time with the Jeep, like learning more about um, Georgia. I live in Atlanta, but uh, I'm getting to learn more about Georgia, uh, especially the North Georgia mountains. And it's, uh, it's definitely, the Jeep's gotten me out there and I love it. Um, so I hope you like this. Please share, like, and uh, and comment, and I'll catch you on the next video. And any requests, just leave it down in the comment. Let me know what you think of my build.